Well, it's early morning and I am back at the shore where I visited yesterday looking for sea glass and I'm hoping to find some more here today. Wow, just absolutely beautiful. So I'm down here on the shore and as much as I want to run over in that area uh, that I call the wash area, I'm not interested in getting soaked by waves. So I've just been digging around here in these little bits of rocks here and I found some interesting finds, uh, some gorgeous aquas, uh, that bottle top aqua, some old stone pottery, um, but this hair piece right here, which um, some refer to as a hagstone and there's a lore that goes along with it. Uh, if you look through that hole, you're supposed to see somebody's essence, true essence. And uh, it's also supposed to be a passageway to look at the fairy land. So there's some interesting stories about it. If you look up Hagstone on Google, you'll, uh, you'll find that. So I will keep that. And what I like to do is pass that on to somebody else um, as a gift rather than keep it for myself. Although I have been gifted a few myself, and I do have a few. So that one will be given to somebody who will find that interesting. I'll keep looking along here to see what else I might be able to find. Well, as you can see, I am a little further down and uh, I found some more interesting finds. Again, more bones on the shoreline and uh, some beautiful sea glass. So we have some sea foam, some whites. It looks like a piece of stem of a handle off a cup, a uh, partial part of a porcelain spark plug. Uh, there's another partial, partial part of a porcelain spark plug, uh, the pink piece there next to some milk glass. And here we also have a piece of milk glass. But if you look at it at a certain angle, there's a white sliver down the center of it. So that would almost be like a multi-glass of milk glass, which is kind of neat. So an interesting find here on the shore. And uh, I've just been kind of zigzagging through the rocks and I will make my way to the end of the shoreline very soon as it is a small beach. You can see the canned de geese flying off in the distance. Just a beautiful day down here on the shoreline. Well, I'm walking along and I'm just walking along this edge from where I came across that little brook area and I found these beauties. Uh, I was talking about the pink porcelain from a spark plug. This is actually a piece of the pink from the spark plug, which under a black light glows a neon pink, which is really nice. Uh, I found some aquas, that green, an old piece of a stone pottery plate, and uh, again, some milk glass. So some cool finds just walking along the edge here thus far. When I peer down and I see this beauty just staring back at me, can you see it from here? I'll get a little closer. Do you see what I see? Absolute perfection. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh yeah, that is, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Just absolutely beautiful marble tossed in on the shoreline. And look at how frosty that bugger is. Wow. That is just perfection. Perfection. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Just looking down and saw that right in between the rocks. 
just absolutely beautiful. I'll comb the rest of these rocks up here and see what I can find. Wow. And so I'm zigzagging through these rocks and what do I find? Oh my, my, my. I don't know how well you can see that purple, but that is a dark mauve and an absolute gorgeous piece. Uh, I found some greens, uh, some aqua, some old stone pottery with uh, different designs on it. And what appears to be the bottom of a stopper for a bottle, a bottle stopper bottom. Just absolutely cool finds here on the shore. But as I was looking around, what did come across my eye? Something underneath this stick right here uh, that used to be a part of a lobster trap, I believe. And if you look down here in between the rocks, you can see that light blue just staring out at you. And that light blue is a perfectly frosted, uh, misshaped marble. Look at that. Wow. Just absolute beauty right there, folks. Wow, 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 wow. I just stopped to show you the pieces I'd found zigzagging through these rocks and yet a marble right there before my eyes. This day is just an amazing day on the shores of Cape Breton Island, folks. So I've zigged and I've zagged along the rock piles, but where I couldn't get to yesterday along those cliffs, I can get to today. And there is a lot of rock over there. So I'm hopeful to find something beautiful over there as well. Now I'm walking along and I found this. It's like a giant hagstone. How cool is that? I wouldn't take something that big, but I thought I'd point it out. And just standing where I'm at here, I find a bottle bottom of some type of bottle. I'm not sure what it would have been. Um, but then I've also found these little beautiful pieces here on the shoreline as I've been going along. Uh, some aquas and sea foam and some pottery uh, green and that gorgeous aqua there a uh, little round one so i've found some beautiful finds nothing yet to compare to that gorgeous blue marble i found but i'll keep looking i am so so happy i decided to come back here again today for the second day in a row i'll keep looking in these rocks and see what else i can find Okay, so I'm where I tell people never to go, which is right underneath these cliffs. Um, that, along with these big waves coming in right now, it could come in quite fast, but I know how to run fast too. So I just wanted to show you some of the big chunks I found underneath here. Um, some beautiful old pottery, pieces of uh, the glass out of an old fridge, some yellowed pieces, olive, looks like manganese, and uh, maybe an old pot that uh, flower once was in old stone pottery so some pretty cool pieces i'm going to take you for a walk around here really quickly see if i can spot any more treasures to grab uh, while i'm looking down you're getting a beautiful view i see a piece right here beautiful little piece uh looks like the bottom of a plate don't know if it's decorative no it's just plain piece of pottery and as i said these waves come up quick so i've got to be rather careful and at the same time be aware of the cliff above me because it does sometimes fall and this water is coming in quick. Uh, it's like a waterfall underneath here. I just come up here, see if I can see anything that just jumps out at my eye. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Big old chunk. So some pieces here, uh, big chunkies, but nothing I would really use and uh, I'm only keeping so that uh, someone might be able to use them or enjoy collecting them themselves. I'll be back up my way along the beach here now and uh, end the sea glass video. Another big chunk here. Look at this beautiful piece. 
Oh my goodness. It's just absolutely beautiful. Big old chunk. Still looking along the cliff walls where pieces of sea glass could have gathered. That doesn't appear to be anything here. Look at that beautiful green here. Right underneath some rocks. Gorgeous. Gorgeous little piece. And some stone pottery. Wow. Well, it's been a great day collecting beach glass down here on the shoreline. I want to thank everyone for watching. And if you haven't already, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's a wealth of information for just things you find here on the shorelines and um, a breath of fresh air. It is January and these shorelines should be covered with snow, but we've not had snow much at all this winter. I'm happy for that, but at the same time, it's a little strange. It allows me to get to my beaches where some of them I wouldn't be able to get to if the snow was here. I'll leave you now with the sounds of the ocean. Have a great day.